What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today is the first episode of the brand new year. Hopefully, uh, everyone out there is having a good start to, to your new year. Hopefully, 2021 can be slightly better than 2020. I know, obviously, everyone, including myself, uh, you know, 2020 wasn't the greatest year for everybody um, because of various reasons, mainly because of... Um, the pandemic clearly but yeah hopefully 2021 can be you know slightly notches above uh where 2020 sat but realistically it's just going to be 2020 version 2 pretty much but uh yeah and uh, i don't know it's just it's what it is and it's kind of the reason why i wanted to start making videos because you know it, it takes it takes my mind off what's going on in the world and um you know if it, if it provides people with you know half an hour of enjoyment or just half an hour of of taking your mind off things and that's kind of the uh, aim and the goal of this channel but as you know we are playing fifa today because um i thought it'd be quite fun to do like a, a new year or new year episode uh, but basically it's just going to be the same episode as every other episode where we just play and lose at fifa but either way there's our team uh it's a pretty it's a pretty good team to be fair and it, you know what i do want to do at some point is kind of like a, a throwback to the first episode or first few episodes to see where our team was and what our team was like and kind of where our team is now because you know I, I always think about like you know doing icon packs and stuff but realistically there's nobody that can really upgrade our team too much um that we haven't already got and it's crazy to think that we're already at that stage of fifa where it's like you know we're coming up to team of the year and our team doesn't really need any upgrades it's just it's just a boss of a team obviously prime schmeichel in goal, packed him out of um, a random mega pack, just randomly. Um, insane. I've tried to sell him a few times. Nobody wants this guy, so we'll just keep hold of him. And um, maybe at the end of the year, we can have like a full prime icon team, maybe. Um, our defense is incredible as well. Obviously, it's a bit it's a bit out there and a bit different, which I really enjoy. Uh, but we've got Lima at left back. We've obviously got Apara, and then we've got Long as well. Um, I was using Dam, as you can see on my... Uh, reserves for a little bit but he just doesn't really cut it especially in rivals being basically a silver um his car just really isn't good enough he's you know pace is excellent but he just doesn't have like um the strength or the ability to push out or not many off the ball anyway um so he was nice but yeah wasn't really working out and as soon as we got pepe out of our party bag sbc um it made sense to sell carlos fair get our atk back and then just you know use the players we've got that are untradeable, which are of course Hector Bellin and Nicolas Pepe. Uh, we did finally complete the cap recipe uh, objective. So we've got him in the team on eight chemistry. He's just a bit of a boss as well. Um, solid, solid looking card. I don't think he's the greatest, especially defensively, but um, he, he should do a job there. Then we've got Inform Carrasco, who uh, is also uh, a bit of a beast. Uh, bought him for 39,000 coins and you can't argue with that. To be honest, you can't argue with a with that kind of card for 30,000 coins or 40. Four star, four star, just a bit of a beast. And then, of course, up front, we've got uh, Diego Maradona, uh, Jean Felix. And then, of course, at Cam, we've got Lionel Messi. I mean, like, it's one hell of a team. It's one hell of a team. I don't think it's, it's necessarily the best team out there. Again, like I said, I've tried to avoid the meta cards. You know, I could just go with, like, a Jamie Vardy um, up front or whoever you know uh, and probably do it you know better than what we've got here but i i just you know i want to use the players we packed i enjoy using these players and i think it's really good fun um obviously we have got these on the reserves who don't even make it into the team it's crazy it's crazy obviously i could put sun back in for like you know dominic calvert and all that kind of stuff but yeah jj kocha just isn't very good nor is coman and uh yeah that's kind of how our team is looking these are all players we packed Obviously got Casemiro, got Vitsu, who we did do the SBC. Nabri did with the SBC. Vidra, who's very, very good. Uh, a lot of those are probably squad battles because I've done the silver stuff. But uh, yeah, he's very, very good as well. Bruno Perez. And then we've got the two beasts, Gabriel Martinelli and Eddie Nketiah on the bench. But that's how the team looks. Um, it's just it's just insane. And um, I don't know, it's hard. It's crazy to think that this is where we're at. You know, at this stage in FIFA, with that kind of team, it's a bit nutty, isn't it? It's a bit nutty. And we haven't really spent that much on packs either. I mean, realistically, I probably spent maybe a couple of hundred 
if not more than that. I mean, probably no more than a couple of hundred. I don't, I don't really often buy packs or that many. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. No flex, but we've got a bit of a beast team. There we go. So first opponent today. Have his team is going to look. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So Soko. Um, got to watch out for Soko. I mean, he's got he's got Cruyff and Mbappe. Damn. Well, I've um come up against that Awa striker card a lot, and he's uh he's a bit of a he's a bit of a tricky man to deal with. Maradona. He's still going to get there. You know, I see whoever's that at the back post. Take it in. Carrasco. Finesse. What? How did any of that work out? How has that gone through his legs as well? That's crazy, man. Mbappe, that's not good. Um, um, okay, it wouldn't let me select a para. I, I was trying and then it just gave me my friggin' right back. You love to see it. I'm gonna get that ball in. Carrasco, please. Messi! Please, just take the shot, Messi. Why are you taking six touches? Man, like, what is this? Oh, I'm right there as well for that. Oh, Maradona. He might get there as well. But, oh my god, he's actually got there, but it's a penalty. So I don't, no idea what happened there. It's just a massive, massive fuck up on everyone's part, I think, to be honest. Watch me, uh. Watch me miss it, though. No, never mind. There we go. Easy as you like. Maradona puts it in the back of the net. Penalty like I just can't. I just I can't deal with the uh, Furlan Mendy and um, and all these. I didn't even see his backline. Was probably like Varane and stuff. But like, I just can't deal with the man. Just insane. John Felix, it's through, please. Are you serious? Maradona, let's go. That was a good goal. It was a good, good goal. Obviously, he just got Kunde and fucking Jesus Navas at the back, and it's just insane. Like, genuinely thought that Jesus Navas wouldn't be such a good centre back, but yeah, he's quite good. I suppose maybe not aerial, aerial, aerially, aerially. Maybe not uh, so much aerially. Nice. Cheers, ref. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. You can't win them all. That guy was. Uh, it was pretty decent, to be fair. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty decent. He had obviously an insane team. He had a nutty team. I'm trying to have a quick look at his. Yeah, like he had a Adam Adama Triore, Jesus Navas, Courtois, Kunde, Fela Mendy. Just like you know, the players you just don't want to see. Sissoko, Awa, Cancelo, Politano, Mbappe, Cruyff. Just a bit of a, a bit of a nutty team. That's all. Obviously, uh, he changed it in game. Uh, and yeah, whatever, but um, that's what it is, isn't it? That's what it is. Sometimes you get beat by the better guy, and uh, that was him today, even though he did try the same thing about six million times and it still worked out for him. But all right, onwards and onwards. It's uh, interesting as well because that guy was only like 900 skill rating. I do wonder if people like you know relegate themselves to um, to find easier opponents. Um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe they do. I can't say. But yeah, he had quite a low skill rate. Maybe he only just started, to be honest. If he had, it was uh, an insane team. But this guy has a very nice team as well. Very um, very nice Premier League kind of Liga, La Liga, Bundesliga hybrid. Um, I think, he, yeah. On seven chemistry. He's got Inaki Williams. He's still going to do quite a job, I imagine. Got Pepe going through. Long shot with Pepe! Ooh, good save by uh, Edison, inventor of the light bulbs. Good job, Messi. Jean Felix. Back to Jean Felix. Don't dive in. Nice, there we go. Patience. Oh, you're Maradona, go. Go on, go. I should have sweated it, but it doesn't matter. Maradona. There we go. Puts in the back of the net. Fucking have it. Let's go. I should have I should have sweated that to Jean Felix, but who cares at this point? He scored it, and this guy might be out of here. To be fair, and he's gone. He's gone. We completely uh, completely battered him. Bent him over. No lube. All that kind of stuff. Um, he had a good team, Venice. 
He had a bit of a weird, weird backline. <clears throat> you don't often see like Thiago Silva and Fernandinho because they're a bit. I mean, let's face it, they're a bit. They're a bit shit. Nice. All right. Well, game number three. Hopefully, it can be uh, be nicer on the editing for me if it was a uh, you know a one nil rage quit again. But this guy's got a good team as well. He's got the um, squad foundations. Ella de Vize players. He's got Jean Felix at centre mid. Um, he's got the Awa Ben Yedda, who's looking to get a headline as well. Supposedly, supposedly it's going to be Ben Yedda, which is going to be amazing. Can't wait. Cannot wait for that. See that run by Jean Felix. What a perfectly timed ball. What a finish. Let's go. Jean Felix. Oh, I didn't do my celebration. No. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. Bang. Edge of the area for Carrasco. Oh, is he saving that? That was nutty. Oh, he's right there as well. Come on, man. It's a good ball. It's a real good ball. Um. Good finish as well by um by Ben Yedder, was it? Yo, Maradona, you don't come on man. Like, he's backing off as well. We just need to be taking those shots instead of making those passes. Yo, Carrasco. Oh my god! Oh my god. I thought that came back out. Holy shit! What a goal! What a goal by uh, Carrasco. Utter beast. Oh, shit. That could be a goal. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ. Sorry, but Ben Yedder is not that quick. He's got pace, but he's like, you know... How has he got more pace than uh, Hector Bayering? I want to see Messi. Take that pass. See Messi again. Take the shot, Messi. It's a goal. It's always a goal with Messi. Uh, that's unreal. That's just a, just a bit of a banger. <laughs> just a bit of a banger. 3-1. Let's go. Leo Messi not missing those. Pass to Maradona. Can he? Yo, this guy's been undone by those just through balls. Perfectly timed. Actually insane. Hector, let's go. Hector the destructor. Perfectly timed. Ball. To Jean Felix. He's got there as well. He's got the finish. Let's go. Do the celebration, please. Do the celebration. Yes. Let's go. That's all I wanted. Let's be having you. Where are you? What a game. Two for Jean Felix. One for Messi. One for Yannick Carrasco. I mean, the Carrasco goal has to be one one of the best goals I've scored so far. I mean, off the post, just flopped in the back of the net. Like, it's just... Just a bit nutty. And all of those passes as well. All of those passes to end up in goals were just were just nutty. Like, they were perfectly timed. This guy was falling back, you know, watching the run, but perfectly timed and then just straight on back through through his back line. Uh, I don't know. That was good. That was good, to be fair. We played some really good FIFA in this episode. Some really good FIFA, especially that last game. That last game was sensational FIFA um yeah I mean I can't really argue with it to be fair it's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode because the second guy quit um really early on and the first game didn't really have much going on besides me just getting battered by Mbappe and Cruyff but um yeah you'd love to see it you do love to see it and um I don't know this team plays so well plays so so well and I'm so happy with it it's so nice I'm really happy that we've actually built like a really different team. Um, like, you know, not using meta players, using players you probably won't ever actually see in anybody's teams. Maybe a para. If you can if you've done the squad foundations, I can probably see those two uh partnership being being in people's teams. But uh yeah, like what a team. What a team. And obviously if you look at the chemistry, we've got uh Long currently on seven. We've got uh Pepe. Nicola Pepe on seven, and we've got uh, Kappa on eight. And uh, I always used to have this really like OCD thing about chemistry where people have to be on 10 chemistry. But as long as they, you know, like if as long as they're on more than four, uh, they get their base stats as long as you've got like 100 team chemistry as well. Uh, four is minimum, but seven, like he gets a plus three and across the board, probably should put like a finishing or something on him or 
passing maybe but anyway yeah he gets plus three as you can see so ultimately it really doesn't matter and uh kappa who's on a basic on eight gets plus fours across the board which is very very nice he's uh he's just i really like this guy as well he doesn't feel heavy or clunky 81 dribbling he's got 88 balance 82 agility and he feels real nice um but yeah i, I can't argue with it carrasco's so good so so good I mean, with those plus 10s uh, in his shooting, they're just, uh, it's just nutty. Six games, two goals. Crazy, crazy stuff. And there we go. So that is going to conclude another episode of The Road to Glory. We should probably just change the name to like... <sighs> I don't know what it should be, really, because it's not really a road to... We've kind of achieved glory at this point. Maybe just road to bumming people i don't know i don't know but um yeah we've kind of achieved the glory to be fair with our team obviously it's you know players you can i don't know players that can always approve it but not that would fit in the team maybe when the mls team of the season comes out that'd be quite good getting like a team of the season apara um that would be very very nice but either way Hope you have enjoyed this episode of the rose glory it's been an absolute banger in my opinion in uh road to glory standards We've won two out of the three games. You know, second game was a mad quick game. He just didn't he just didn't want to put up with me. And then the, the third game was just sensational FIFA. So you can't you, you can't argue with it. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you uh, enjoyed that Carrasco goal, drop it a like as well. That'd be uh, very much appreciated. And if you want to see more of this uh, sensational FIFA content, then uh, do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. We keep it real. We enjoy what we enjoy and we stay away from the meta we don't you know we don't we don't have i forgotten the word i don't know english anyway but we haven't consumed the meta um so hopefully you enjoy that as well um enjoy something a little bit different but uh yeah that's going to do it for today hopefully you have enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time